All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing a sneaker meetup in like 15 minutes, I'm 15 minutes away. I was gonna catch my boy out. He always be sliding deals, so I'll show y'all what we got once we get there. I'll catch y'all in a few. All right, y'all, so we're about to pull up to the man's house, so let's go. <laughs> Got a camera now. So this is my boy John right here. He always is blessing me with the kicks, always blessing me with the deals. So you know I had to come cash him out today. He messaged me earlier saying he's in a crunch right now and he needs the money. So you know I had to come up and bless him. He always be giving me the best prices. So appreciate my dude John. Make sure y'all follow him as well. But yeah, I'll show y'all uh, most of the details that went on during the sneaker meetup. Is this more shoes? Nah, this ain't more shoes. Let's it's just help. Are they like noticeable? Like this one, I feel like it's from a low top legend blue. I'm not really sure though. I got them off of. They told me that I put them on like a few weeks back in this. Like, why can't I tie it correctly? I was so confused. Mm. So y'all, basically with these Legend Blues, I keep going to that shoe throughout the sneaker meetup because there are a lot of issues with that shoe. The person that sold my boy these Legend Blues, the right shoe, the laces were a little shorter. There was a scratch on the right shoe as well. And also the little thing that all 11s come with, that right there, that wasn't even the one that came with the original box, which kind of had me tight because the seller did not inform John that the right shoe didn't have the original laces and it also didn't have the original piece piece that normal Legend Blue 11s get. They look like a smaller version, like a grade school version of whatever that plastic thing is. So yeah, I was pretty mad about that, that the seller didn't inform my man that the laces were not the same. And also it didn't come with the OG thing. Like that was kind of messed up. If it was any other person, I wouldn't have bought those shoes. But since it was my guy, John, I copped them because he needed the money. So I'm gonna bless up right away. Oh, these are clean. Yeah, well, those like probably three times. They're coming out with a new one. Mm hmm. It, they look completely different too for the new releases. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even. Did you do this with the lace? Yeah. Mark? I was gonna wear them and then I was like, nah, I'm just gonna keep them all nice. Ooh. Okay, these are cool. Box is low. Oh, these are the ones I sold you, right? Yes, sir. Oh. I only wore them once to my uh, niece's recital. Yeah, they still clean. The Kobe's. As I was looking through all of the shoes, I went back to the Legend Blues and I really didn't want them at all. Uh, as you can see, I was second guessing and I just told him I wasn't sure if I wanted them. I was really close to passing on them, but then I gave it a little more thought and I was like, at least I, I can maybe break even. So, so yeah, I, I changed my mind in the end. Quick giveaway alert. Here is the best sneaker cleaner to use for cleaning your sneakers, either to start reselling or to just clean up your personals. Y'all probably already see me use them in a lot of my videos, and it is the Factory Lace Cleaning Kit. They really got the best sneaker cleaner and the best starter pack for anyone with a pair of dirty shoes. It comes with four different brushes, suede, medium, hard, and a brass bristle brush. Also comes with two Factory Lace shoe trees, a large microfiber towel, and a collapsible bowl, and also the best sneaker cleaner that I've used. It smells so good good all natural coconut oil you heard that literally everything you need to clean your sneakers good and you won't ever have to get stopped in the mall again nice shoes man can i get a clean can i get a clean can i get a clean and for everyone that shares this video and tags me on their story and then comments done is entered in a giveaway to win their own free sneaker cleaning kit from factory lace so make sure y'all enter up and stay focused i love y'all peace Grab them. Yeah. Let's go. Like for you, bro. Like if, if it was anybody else, I, I wouldn't grab them. Nah, respect. I love you, brother. For real. Much love. It's very needed sure. at this time too. Alright, I'm gonna put these back here. Alright, how you doing? Well then put it out. She can't. Here, I'll get out the way. Yeah, I guess so. Do y'all care about that? <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm just stand in the middle of the shoe in the wheels. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah, it's all good. I'm Put sorry. me on there and I'll fucking sell them. You mean that? So this is like not from the real thing, right? Nah, I think it, he said it was from his girlfriend's spirit or something like that. It looks small. These are nine and a half? Right Those are nine and a half, yeah. Can, can you send some to my mother and then some to me? Yeah. Uh, where, and then I believe it's Michelle. Yeah, uh, you can just type it. I don't remember. What it was. <laughs> you just cashed out. This man always be giving me deals. My fault. I didn't mean to hit you with the static. But <laughs> always be blessing with the deals. So got these, you know, raging bulls, Olympic sevens, legend blues. Not too crazy. Got these dunks. See these right here. These ones right here, like. They were, there were a lot of issues with this, like this wasn't with the original box. And also right here, there's like a scratch. I don't know if y'all can see this, but there's a little scratch. But for anybody else, I would try to go lower, but that's my boy right here. He'd be always like giving me deals. So I really couldn't complain. And if anything, I'll just try to break even on these or I don't know, just give it to a friend. Cause I got some friends that I sent in the house. But yeah. Did you uh, send the thing? I just wanted to make sure this was yours. Oh, yeah. bro. Yes, sir. Got Good it, bro. Hey, appreciate you as always, man. You and want uh, some help bringing these to the car? Ah, uh, you're good. She, she can help me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll catch you. All right. Stay safe, man. You too. Yo. All right, y'all, just came back from the sneaker meetup. Man, has blessed me as always. I'll just do a quick rundown what we got. Jordan 7 Olympias. I think some Georgetown Dunks or some Midnight Navy Dunk. Hi. Some nice, some Kobe 9s right here. All right, P to go. Also got these Legend Blues like we was talking about earlier. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Raging Bull 5s, brand new. Got some fire red threes, very good condition. Some brand new space jams, brand new Neapolitan threes, and also some Travis Scott six khakis. These are so beautiful. I actually sold these to him, and he needed the money, so I had to come cash out. But yeah, that was basically what I got. Tell me, tell me if I cashed out, got a good deal. All of that was for thirteen fifty. Let me know in the comments. Catch y'all. When I catch y'all. Hey y'all, so I just sold two pairs of some Jordan 1 size 12. I'll put them up somewhere over here. Jordan 1s have been selling pretty good for me. And also, I sold a size 8 men's of these Next Nature Dunks. Y'all can see. Pretty steady sales throughout the week. I've mainly been focused on pushing out content, but still working on the selling side as always. And also still have to list up these shoes right here from the sneaker meetup with John. So we are gonna do that. We have to clean up some pairs because some of them are a little bit dirty, but other than that, they're in pretty good condition, mostly all of them. So yeah, we gotta do that. And I'm gonna ship these out in the post office. So see y'all when I see y'all.